oh, but my favorite Clinton policy, oh, my favorite. Even though it's not front and center, it's my favorite because it, we're so right on this, and she is so wrong, and yet we make no progress whatsoever. And for some reason, <laughs> something about that just gets to me. So it's the, it's the gender pay gap. You know, I've lost track of lost track of which one of these bottles I'm drinking in, so I think, I think what I'll do is I'll just take one swig out of each of the ten. <laughs> so that... <laughs> all right. The gender... We all know this, right? Men earn more than women. And what... And that is true. In the aggregate, men earn more than women. Then we get this leap. And now, this was Bernie Sanders believed this. Hillary Clinton believes this. Ev Ivanka Trump apparently believes this, too. <laughs> and, and the thing is, the, th the funny thing is, she got the basic insight as to why it's there. And she said it in the speech and didn't even, didn't penetrate. Wait, wait a minute, maybe that's why there's a gap. I'll get to that in a minute. I'll tell you where the gap is with some of these people. All right. All right, so it's, a, it's, it's that men earn more than women. And then they draw this, they, they take this leap and they say, men earn more than women and women earn less than men do for doing the same work. Now, that, now, wait a minute. That is not the same thing. To say women earn less than men is not the same thing as saying women earn less than men for doing the same work. That's, that was dealt with in the Equal Pay Act of 1963. That's, that's already covered. So what, what are they talking about? So they're looking in the aggregate. They say, well, here, here's a big pile of money earned by men. Here's a pile of money earned by women. The women pile is smaller, so something sinister is going on. All right, well, I am now going to tell you the real truth of what's going on. And here's what I love about that. Well, you know what? I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to keep the punchline a secret just for one more second. Here's a fact about the, the gender pay gap that's going to lead into my punchline. It turns out that these jerks who promote this thing are not even bothering to measure the simple issue of number of hours worked by men and women. Now you think, oh no, surely, Woods, they must be factoring in that men work more hours than women. They are not. Here's in fact what they're doing. They're saying, oh, we are, we are factoring that in because we're only comparing full-time workers. Yeah, okay. Here's what, the old full-time worker sleight of hand. Well, look, baby, you know, I'm, uh, I'm like Penn and Teller up here when it comes to that kind of sleight of hand, okay? It turns out that the, the, the Labor Department thinks of full-time work as 35 plus hours a week. All right. So anybody working at least 35 hours is considered full-time. But you know, some people work 40. So how many hours are men and women working? That's the question. How many hours are full-time men working versus full-time women? Because as long as they're 35 and over, it's considered full-time. Well, it turns out 12% of women are working just between 35 and 39 hours. Only 5% of men work so few hours. Well, how many men and women are working 40 plus hours? 26% of men work 40 plus hours. 14% of women work 40 plus hours. Well, when you factor that in, the pay gap goes down from 23 cents on the dollar to 12 with just that one adjustment for honesty. <laughs> now, the punchline. Guess which prominent institution in American society also has a 12 percentage point wage gap? The Obama White House. Oh, how about that? So they asked poor Jay Carney, Jay, you guys are going to go around persecuting. Well, they probably didn't start it this way. That's how I would have started the question. <laughs> you guys are going to go around persecuting private businesses for having a 12% pay gap. And you guys have a 12% pay gap between men and women. How do you account for that? Answer? Well, you see, men and women have different jobs here in the White House. <laughs> do you think a private employer would be allowed to give that particular answer? But of course, that's the whole thing, right? So for instance, it's not enough to say, boy, you know, it seems like Asian PhDs earn more than black PhDs, so there must be a pro-Asian, anti-black bias. Well, how about asking, what are the PhDs in? 
if you are getting, it turns out that more than half of black PhDs are in education. This is a very low paying field, we all know that. But the Asian PhDs tend to be in chemistry, uh, engineering, etc. So when you look at that, you say, oh, well, okay, of course that makes sense. Don't compare apples and oranges. Well, likewise, the experiences of men and women are like apples and oranges, because in the case of women, they have the possibility of childbirth, which will interrupt your career for an extended period of time. So there are some career choices that will be less appealing to women because it'll be harder to jump back in. If you're out of the workforce for five years, there are some fields where your knowledge will be, if not obsolete, then very, very much out of date. And those things are ruled out. Whereas on the other hand, if you're caring for children, you're more likely to think that the more flexible and school-friendly schedules of, for example, a school teacher or a secretary are appealing. So it's not like women are drawn to these fields by some kind of a giant magnet. It's because they work with the, the life circumstances that they find themselves in. And so Ivanka Trump actually, she said that. She said, you know, and, and you know, mothers have a particularly difficult time in this regard. But this is why. It's because they're mothers, not because there's anything sinister going on. Because all you have to do is look at never married women and never married men. And there is essentially no pay gap there. How about that? So, uh, you know, eh, there it is. All right, so now you know. There's no pay gap. There's a whole lot of crap. Don't believe it.